And we're focusing now on another reunion. I want to introduce you to this woman. She is a big advocate for missing kids. It's a cause that hits incredibly close to home. You see, Monique was kidnapped as a baby, and now 50 years later, she's getting the happy ending so many of these stories are missing. Delia Gonsalves has the story you're seeing first on WUSA 9. What does this book mean to you? This is my life and it's part of my legacy. Like, this is my lineage to my children. For the past 20 years, Monique Smith has been building a puzzle. Pictures, scraps of documents of a false identity that was once hers. This is the document from New York. She was abducted as a baby. The woman who claimed to be her mother falsified documents to enroll her in school. It wasn't until Monique applied for a business license as an adult that she discovered her life was a lie. I've been a Jane Doe since um, probably 1967. My sister said the last time she saw me, I was one. She said one day she saw me, and the next day she didn't, and that's over 50 years ago. It's almost like I've been living in captivity for over 50 years, and I'm finally free. <laughs> And this is the sound of freedom. After sharing her story in a documentary and decades of work to find her real name, Monique found her real family and reunited with her big sister this past Saturday. Hey, hey, hey. I had nobody. What's your sister like? She's amazing. Um, she's always just like me, loud, energetic, big smile all the time. And looks just like you too. Yes. So with her final puzzle piece in place, no! Monique, who learned she has six siblings, begins a new life with a new perspective. I favor my mom, which means every day, all this time, I never saw my mother. I've been looking in the mirror for the woman that birthed me. Monique's story is not over yet. She continues to be a fierce advocate for missing children and is working to update policies in Baltimore, where she grew up. She says her story proves don't ever lose hope because those missing kids may still be out there. Leslie? And there's one more child that we hope is still out there too. I want to bring your attention to Relisha Rudd. We've been telling you about her for years. She was just eight when she disappeared. Relisha was last seen on surveillance video with a janitor from the D.C. General Homeless Shelter where she lived. More than five years later, we still don't know what happened, but somebody knows something. And if you know anything, do the right thing and come forward.